Good day, St. Russia. The Ministry of Commerce is pleased to report that its first call for applications for the MSME loan grant facility has been oversubscribed. The MSME loan grant facility is an EC $10 million program aimed at providing post-COVID-19 relief to registered qualifying businesses. It is a combination of 70% grant and 30% loan funding at an attractive interest rate of only 3% on the loan component with no collateral requirement. It is anticipated that the Ministry of Commerce would have received approximately 180 applications from the priority sectors and that includes manufacturing, professional services, agriculture, and agro-processing in the first call. I wish to report that we have received 501 applications from the first call, and I am extremely grateful for the level of interest and commitment demonstrated throughout the island. It is also very rewarding to see that our efforts have resulted in new applications for registration of business names and companies. I am confident that MSMEs regularizing their status and formalizing their operations will allow for increased access to funding opportunities. To lend further support to our small businesses, and to maximize the use of the funds under the MSME loan program. The government of St. Lucia has approved on behalf of all the MSME loan grant awardees, 100% waiver of custom duty on imports, including fixtures and fittings approved under the facility by the Ministry of Commerce during the period April 1st, 2023 to March 31st, 2024. In keeping with the government's desire to promote sustainable business practices, the awardees will also be granted 100% duty exemption on imports of renewable energy and energy efficient equipment devices and fittings. I take this opportunity to encourage all MSME loan grant awardees to use the funds for the purpose intended. I remind all that my government, the government of the St. Lucia Labour Party, is committed to supporting the sustainable growth of businesses to increase the contribution to the economy of our country. May God continue to guide us on this operation.